New Year to you. God has seen us to 2021. I thank God for your life. Father, we bless every listener. We bless everyone that's following this podcast, everybody that might be watching it all over the world. And we thank you that you have preserved him and preserved her. And I pray that in this year, you shall be our God and we shall be your people. For every message we will share on this channel and this broadcast, I situate it in the will of God, in the fire of God, in the, in the power of God. Nothing will hinder it and nothing will stop it. I pray in the name of Jesus that for me, the channel through which the message is coming, and for the one who is receiving it, now none of us will fall short of the expectation of God. That the perfect will of God will be established in the delivering and the communication of the will of God. We pray that you will hear every prayer, lift every bed, and shine your light on the entire world as you use this medium to bless. Father, I thank you that every burden will be lifted and your name shall be established. From the first message now until the last message of 2021, we are asking that Lord fill us with what we need and bless our lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want to bring you good tidings from the Lord and my simple message for 2021. Do not be deceived, my brethren. The Bible says, let God be true and all men be liars. Why am I saying do not be deceived? Don't be caught up, and I say with all humility, in messages that seems to project solely prosperity and many other things. And I want to say emphatically, I'm not debunking anybody's message. But I want you to be aware that Jesus is the truth, and everything he has said will come to pass. And what he did tell us, was that in the last days, perilous times shall come. When Peter asked that, that we have left all and followed you, what shall we gain? He said, you will gain all these things you have learned for you have left for me a hundred times. And in the life to come, eternal life, but on this earth with persecutions. So if the message comes that God will bless you, be ready for persecutions, praise the Lord. But when it's not balanced, then I say be careful. Why am I saying it? 2021 will be harder and more difficult. It is simple because we are in the last days. And that is scripture. In the last days, there shall be perilous times. And all sorts of atrocities shall come, diseases and whatever. God forbid, there may be even a disease that is worse than this thing that we saw in 2021. But this is what you must pride yourself in. That the Lord will not leave you nor forsake you. When you go through the waters, He will be with you. And when you go through the fire, He will be with you. Certainly when you are on the land, He will not forsake you. And this scripture tells me that no force of nature no turn of life can resist or deny the presence of God being with you. And David testified that even when I make my bed in the depths of hell, the Lord will be with me. So don't worry, times will be hard, but the Lord definitely knows his own. I remember reading one scripture in the Old Testament where God brought a revelation. See that Ezekiel, I think so, Ezekiel. And the Lord was about to destroy some people in the temple. But before then, he sent his angels to mark his saints. No distraction or hard time will come through if God has not preserved his own. So this is the simple message. The times will be hard, but God will be there. So rejoice. And know that the Lord is with you. My second message is, I picked it from the, the scenario of the Garden of Eden. The Bible says that when devil, the devil did all that he had to do, 
Eve found the fruit to be pleasant to the eyes. And this is the revelation. To desire or to last after the fruit was to last after death. The cravings of Eve was the yearning after death. It looked a wonderful fruit. It looked a sumptuous, delicious, mouth-watering and attractive fruit. But that was the bite of death. And so what is the message? Child of God, control your cravings. Control your cravings. If there's anything you should be mad after, Paul said, covet after the spiritual things. That's where you must direct and channel that craving energy. I know somebody craves as a, seriously after some house, some money, some woman, some job, some title. But brother, until you receive the go ahead, sister, until you are convinced that this is the pursuit of the Lord, check your cravings. What you might be pursuing might be the bite of the case of death. And at the end of the day, when Eve took it, and enjoyed it and gave to Adam it amounted to death separation from God and I pray that you shall never be separated from Elohim God bless you two messages for 2021 it will be hard but God has made provision second one control your cravings because for Eve to desire the fruit that was forbidden by the Lord was to desire death a new message, New Year message for all of you. Look out for the 